Python is the most widely used programming language today. When it comes to solving data science tasks and challenges, Python never ceases to surprise its users. Most data scientists are already leveraging the power of Python programming every day. It's an easy to learn, easy to debug, widely used, object oriented, open source, high performance language. And there are many more benefits of Python programming. Python has been built with extraordinary libraries for data science that are used by programmers every day in solving problems. Master Python and other core data science topics to help you kickstart your data journey with a professional certificate program delivered in partnership with Purdue University and IBM. This data science certification features master classes by Purdue faculty and IBM experts, exclusive hackathons and AMA sessions by IBM experts. This course covers tools and techniques like NumPy, Pandas, Python and SciPy along with industry projects like Uber Transport Service Provider, Amazon e-commerce and retail in Walmart. Choosing this course can get you hired in renowned companies like Netflix, Amazon, Facebook, Adobe and average salary hike of 70%. So what are you waiting for? Join the Data Science Professional Certificate Program and excel your career in data science. The link is in the description box below. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. Now, before talking about top Python libraries, let's take a look at what a library is. Python has produced a number of open source libraries, each with its own root source. A library is a previously combined set of code scripts that may be utilized iteratively to save time. Now, in contrast to languages such as C++ or C, Python libraries are not context specific. Now, a library in this context refers to a collection of essential components. A library is a collection of modules that can be installed with the help of a package manager such as pip. Now that we know what libraries are, let's take a closer look at some of the most popular libraries in Python. First on the list, we have NumPy. NumPy is an open source Python library used for scientific computing and data analysis. It provides powerful numerical and mathematical functions that enable efficient computation of large multidimensional arrays and matrices. NumPy is an essential library for data manipulation and analysis in fields such as machine learning, image processing, and scientific computing. Now, some of the key features of NumPy include multidimensional arrays. NumPy provides a powerful n-dimensional array object that can be used to store and manipulate large data sets. Mathematical functions. NumPy provides a wide range of mathematical functions that can be applied to arrays and matrices as well, including linear algebra, Fourier transforms, and random number generation. NumPy is a widely used library in the data science and machine learning communities and is often used in conjunction with other libraries like Pandas, Scikit-learn, and TensorFlow. Second on the list, we have Pandas. Pandas is an open source data manipulation and analysis library for the Python programming language. It provides easy to use data structures and data analysis tools for handling and manipulating structured data. Pandas provides two main data structures. One is series and other one is data frame. Now a series is a one dimensional labeled array that can hold any data type. While a data frame is a two dimensional labeled data structure with columns and potentially of different data types. Some of the key features of Pandas include data cleaning. Pandas provide tools for cleaning, filtering and transforming data such as filling missing values, removing duplicates and replacing values. Data manipulation. Pandas provide powerful tools for manipulating data such as grouping, merging and reshaping data. Integration with other libraries. Pandas integrate with other popular libraries such as NumPy, SciPy and Scikit-learn to provide a complete data analysis and machine learning environment. Pandas is widely used in data science and analysis and are particularly useful for working with tabular data such as data in CSV and Excel files. Next on the list, we have Matplotlib. Matplotlib is a Python library used for data visualization. It provides a wide range of tools for creating graphs, plots, charts, and other visual representation of data. It is a highly customizable library that allows you to control every aspect of visualization you create. You can customize the style, color, size, appearance of elements such as lines, markers, axes, titles, and legends. It also offers several types of plots including line plots, scatter plots, bar plots, histogram plots, pie chart, and many more. Matplotlib is built on top of NumPy, which makes it easy to work with arrays and other numerical data. 
Matplotlib also integrates well with other Python libraries such as Pandas for data manipulation, SciPy for scientific computing and Seaborn for statistical data visualization. Fourth on the list we have Scikit-learn. Scikit-learn also known as sklearn is a popular open source machine learning library for Python. It provides a wide range of algorithms and tools for building and evaluating machine learning models. Scikit-learn is built on top of NumPy, SciPy and Matplotlib which makes it easy to integrate with other scientific computing libraries in Python. It provides a comprehensive set of tools for various machine learning tasks such as classification, regression, clustering, dimensionality reduction, model selection and pre-processing. It also includes popular algorithms such as decision trees, random forest, support vector machines, logistic regression, k-nearest neighbors and many more. Scikit-learn provides a consistent API for all algorithms making it easy to switch between different models and algorithms. Scikit-learn also provides a wide range of pre-processing tools for cleaning and transforming data such as scaling, normalization and feature extraction. Fifth on the list we have Scrappy. The next known Python libraries for data science is Scrappy. Scrappy is one of the most popular, fast, open source web crawling framework written in Python. It is commonly used to extract data from web pages with the help of selectors based on XPath. And talking about its application, Scrappy helps in building crawling programs that can retrieve structured data from the web. Scrappy is also used to gather data from APIs and follow a don't repeat yourself principle in the design of its interface influencing users to write universal codes that can be reused for building and scaling large crawlers. Sixth on the list we have Keras. Similar to TensorFlow, Keras is another popular library that is used extensively for deep learning and neural network modules. Keras supports both TensorFlow and Theano backends. So it is a good option if you don't want to dive into the details of TensorFlow. Talking about its features, Keras provides vast pre-labeled datasets which can be used to directly import and load. It contains various implemented layers and parameters that can be used for construction, configuration, training and evaluation of neural networks. Next in the list of top Python libraries for data science is PyTorch, which is a Python based scientific computing package that uses the power of graphics processing units. PyTorch is one of the most commonly used preferred deep learning research platforms built to provide maximum flexibility and speed. Talking about its application, PyTorch is famous for providing two of the most high level features. First one is tensor computations with strong GPU acceleration support and building deep neural networks on a tape based autograd system. Eighth on the list we have Beautiful Soup. Beautiful Soup is the next Python library for data science. This is another popular Python library most commonly known for web crawling and data scraping. Users can collect data that's available on some website without a proper CSV or API. And Beautiful Soup can also help them scrape it and arrange it into required format. Now, Beautiful Soup is widely used in web scraping applications and is considered as one of the most popular and powerful web scraping tool available in Python ecosystem. Next on the list, we have Pygame. <coughs> Pygame is a set of Python modules designed for writing video games. It provides functionality for working with graphics, sound, and user input, as well as tools for handling events and timing. Now Python game is built on top of the SDL library which provides a low level interface for accessing hardware and input devices. Some of the features provided by Pygame include support for 2D graphics, rendering including image loading and manipulation, sprite handling and drawing primitives. Support for playing sounds and music including playback control and volume adjustment. Support for handling user input including keyboard mouse and joystick events. Pygame is often used for prototyping and developing small to medium sized games as well as for educational purposes. Its ease of use and flexibility makes it a popular choice for game development beginners and hobbyists. And finally on the list we have Theano. Theano is a python library for numerical computation designed for deep learning and machine learning applications. It allows users to define, optimize, and gauge mathematical expressions which includes multidimensional arrays, the fundamental building blocks of many machine learning algorithms. Now talking about features, Theano is designed to efficiently perform numerical computations on both CPU and GPU, which can significantly speed up the training and testing of machine learning models. Theano provides automatic differentiation functionality, making it easy to compute gradients and optimize parameters while training machine learning models. And some of its applications are scientific computing, simulation, optimization, and deep learning. 
In addition to these top 10 Python libraries for 2023, there are many other helpful Python libraries, ones that deserve to be looked at. If you are interested in learning and mastering data science with Python, head on to Simply Learn's professional certificate program in data science. Do explore the frequently asked data science interview questions and unlock your career as a data scientist. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to check this course link from the description box below. Till then stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.